you're in the second round. Yes, I am, yes. Um, potential but banana skin, the way it was looking at a 3-1 down, but uh, I think that was more sort of uh, full compliments to Ashley with the way he, he was playing. Um, seemed to have a very kind of happy, go-lucky kind of attitude in the, in the, in the opening session and uh, was very deserving of the lead. And uh, I just had to maybe try and take him out of his comfort, comfort zone slightly by opening the balls up a lot more safeties and, and be a bit more aggressive. Um, because the way it was going, he didn't really look like making too many unforced errors, and uh, I was able to, um, you know, get my scoring boots on and, and finished off the session really well. Um, and a professional performance this morning. You looked comfortable out there. Yeah, yeah, I did. I think, um, you know, I think my, my season as a whole has been unbelievable. Um, so yeah, come here, you know, in, in great form and, and nothing really to sort of fear of losing or anything like that. Uh, and um, yeah, I think that you know the, the crowd is, is was really really good as well. I think that uh, it's probably the best it's been in the opening rounds for, for quite a few years. Obviously, we had a couple of tough years where there was restrictions and stuff, and um, it's just so great to see sort of full packed crowd and and everyone sort of uh, you know free to sort of be really vocal as well, which is which created a fantastic atmosphere. Do you feel the pressure of the favourites tag? Um, no, not really. I mean, it's it's something that I've dealt with a lot over the years. You know, I think. Um, you know, in, in many of the tournaments that I, I've played in um, over the last five or six years, at some point I've probably been favoured you know, somewhere down the line. Um, so it's something that I'm well accustomed to dealing with. Um, my probably, uh, the thing that's got me undone last few years here, in, in particular in the quarterfinals, I got sort of dragged in a more defensive style snooker, which is not really my suit. Um, and especially guys against, you know, playing against who, uh, who are better at it than, than me. So I need to focus on my strength, be aggressive, you know, try and make the frames you know, go for as short as possible and that'll bring out the best of my snooker. Because I know you've been reminded lots of times because long gap since you won it, isn't it? Yeah, it is, mate. Yeah, it is. And um, yeah, I sort of you know, hear that every year coming here. And uh, yeah, it's not, um, you know, if, if I can get down to the, the business end of the tournament, there certainly won't be any men mental block or anything like that winning it. Um, it's just got to be about playing my game, be aggressive, be attacking, play a good brand of snooker that people really enjoy to watch. And um, even if I'm to get beat, um, and can hold my hands up and say my opponent just outplayed me, and that's fine. But the last few years, it's not been the case. So I felt like as if I wish I was a little bit more attacking. So this year, more attacking brand of snooker. And as a final question, obviously, when it's two tables, it's really tight at the Crucible. So you've been practicing in that space in the club, haven't you? Pretending it's a Crucible. Yeah, I restricted my sort of practice area, I suppose, so because. Um, how have you restricted it? Yeah, I got the. Uh, I got the. Uh, my manager came up with an idea of like sort of putting up sort of like a like a wall sort of thing, but I can't really do that in the club. Um, so um, I got the got like loads of the bar stools and I made like a, a line around my table um, to replicate the same kind of space that, that you have at the crucible because it is obviously tied with the two tables. And in the last few years, I have used it as an excuse of not being able to get down and play certain shots. So I thought I'd just um, you know coming here. You know, I wasn't going to use it as an excuse, but I th also thought. You know, leave no stone unturned. Just make it so I'm not bumping into stuff because usually when I play like a match, there's probably like nearly probably ten or so times I am bumping into the wall, and it kind of can be disturbing to the shot. So um, this year and, and this match, I was walking around the table and, and, and I felt sort of comfortable with, with the space. But well, what happens if I want to sit at the bar and have a drink when you're practicing? Then the uh, the punters will have to sit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Cheers, mate. Thank you, mate. Thanks.